Hi everybody, I'm Sierra Jim. Welcome to Sierra Skis for 2009. When somebody visits us in the store or visits us online, the most common question we get asked is, how do I choose an all-mountain ski? Well, here at Sierra Skis, we've got over a hundred of them to choose for, and I'll tell you what, it can be confusing. These are really different. The biggest difference and the thing that we want to cut through today here is we want to help you pick the width to be looking at. When you choose a wider ski, you gain better performance in softer snow, generally better performance in crud, flotation. But you give something up to get that. You give up edge to edge quickness. A lot of times you won't get as nimble a feel on a bigger ski, and sometimes you're going to sacrifice edge grip. So we're going to ask you what part of the hill you visit the most, what percentage you spend on groomers versus off trail. The five categories that we have here are 90-10, or 90% groomer, 10% everything else. Next up is a 70-30, 70% groomer, 30% everything else. A little wider, you give up a little bit of quickness and a little bit of performance on the hard stuff, but you gain in other areas. Next up, and the biggest category that we have, is 50-50. That's half the time on the trail, half the time off, and we're showing you two models here. One is flat, and one is a system ski. This is a little softer version, and this type of ski in this category is a little more biased towards soft snow. This one a little more biased towards hard snow, but still within the 50-50 category. Moving up wider yet, we have the big mountain category. Now these used to be thought of as powder skis. Now you see people skiing on skis like this every day sometimes. Sure, they're not as nimble and quick as skis down here. Yeah, they don't have quite as much edge grip, but I'll tell you what, they really help you when the snow is deep. And then lastly, the powder specific category. Now these are skis that you might not choose as an everyday ski, but boy, when it's really deep, this is the tool to have. And you can see, we're not just talking about width here, we're talking about a reverse cambered ski. There's more variations on this category of ski than you can possibly imagine. So that's the kind of question we're going to ask you when you start to look at the 100 models of skis that we have. Here's how you start to narrow it down.